Nefa Khalifa is a distribution and delivery employer to plastic packaging company, which is located in a popular neighborhood in the suburbs of the capital city Tunis. Nefa says the ban on single-use plastic bags has affected his business as well as the activity of all his clients. The state is imposing this strict ban where professionals do not have a concrete alternative. Everyone needs single-use plastic bags, shops, businesses, merchants and consumers. Plastic prices will go up and authorities will also impose fines. We just want to work and respect the law. There was little willingness from the Ministry of Environment to adopt the recommendations that were outlined in the study. Uh, also, uh, there was uh, no uh, little willingness also to uh, deliver on the promises uh, of uh, helping companies to, to adopt. Uh, there was no um, financial uh, assistance. Unlike plastic producers, importers and distributors, the business of palm leaf baskets and eco-friendly bags is booming in the North African country. In fact, the ban on single-use plastic bags has created a new market and opportunities in rural regions. I have created an association with 89 other women. We are making, selling and exporting palm leaf baskets. We also collect natural fibers to make alternative bags which can be reused for years. Now it's vital to protect the environment. It's not easy to change our habits and opt for reusable bags. The whole world is banning single-use plastic bags. We can also do it here in Tunisia. The government's attempt to implement a national ban on single-use plastic bags was suspended after coming under pressure from industry stakeholders. Authorities say their objective is to protect the environment while converting and preserving jobs in the plastics industry. Hundreds of plastic bag manufacturers say they are facing bankruptcy as the industry is unable to cope with the new regulation while the demand is still high for single-use plastic bags. Industry players are calling for the government's technical support and financial assistance to enable them to produce biodegradable bags. Adnan Shawashi, CGTN, Tunis.